With its honeyed hues and aspirational pricing, it's not hard to see why whiskey is sometimes called liquid gold. Just like gold, its price has been kept steady by investors looking for a safe haven during economic turmoil. It's much less affected by the economy. It's not affected by stock prices. It's not affected by bitcoins, things like that. It's something very, very tangible, very much like probably gold, I would say. Here's how one index of rare whiskey stacks up against more conventional investments. Since 2013, the S&P Global has been on a steady upwards trend. But rare whiskey did even better, with the price of the top 100 collectors' bottles increasing by over 300%. Rare whiskey is also the top performing item in the annual Luxury Investments Index compiled by Knight Frank. So our rare whiskey index tracks the value of about 100 bottles of the oldest, rarest Scottish whiskey. And as we saw, they've gone up by over 400 or so percent over the past 10 years. That outperforms other luxury goods as an asset class. Cars came second on the list, followed by wine and handbags. It's probably because they're what we call investments of passion so people don't generally just buy them for an investment they buy them because they love them so i think that takes away a lot of the volatility from these markets the simplest way to invest in whiskey is to buy a bottle a more recent trend is cask investments or buying large quantities in barrels which can later be bottled either way investors are advised to do their own research before buying for whiskey fans that sort of research can become a consuming hobby. Billy Tam has been collecting whiskey for 16 years and now owns over 500 bottles, but not all are for investment. When I started out, you know, it was purely for drinking and exploring. Uh, so I guess I bought more to collect and uh, to drink. Uh, but, you know, when they talk about whiskey, you know, there's, uh, you could put it into three buckets, right? Uh, collecting, drinking, and investing. At least 60% of that would be for drinking for the rest of my life. And uh, maybe 20, 30% for collecting and maybe 10% for uh, investments. Rare whiskey vintages are limited in quantity. So as bottles are consumed, every remaining bottle becomes more valuable. When you buy a bottle of whiskey, unlike wine, it, it doesn't age in a bottle. So uh, the perceived quality of the whiskey doesn't increase with time if you hold on to the bottle. So the increase in price clearly comes from demand and supply. The capital gains range anywhere from uh, 50% to 10x, right, depending on the bottle. I think over the last uh, 10 to 15 years, the obvious one is uh, Japanese whiskey that has gone uh, crazy. In the past, whiskey was seen as a drink of older, affluent men. But around the world, demand is being driven up by the evolving tastes of new customers. A lot of stereotypes attached to whiskey with its men and older men. But what we're seeing now is a lot more millennials, a lot more females are investing into whiskey, a lot more younger people are looking for alternative assets to invest into. Another key factor is the changing palates in the world's biggest spirits market, China. Though local Baiju liquor still makes up 98% of the market, whiskey sales are growing by double digits. Euromonitor predicts that over 23 billion litres of whiskey will be sold in China by 2022. What really kick-started the value of the rare whiskey market was when wealthy Chinese people started to get really interested in that market and started collecting it. So once you get a new set of collectors coming into the market, that can really um, boost prices. When it comes to investments, uh, you're not only going to be looking at the value, you could also need to be looking at how easy it is for you to exit. So the more people there is, not only is the price goes up, but it's also much easier to find a buyer. One of the key things I look for is global demand, reputation. Do they know that distillery? And when you go to sell that barrel in 10 or 15 years, you want to make sure there's a demand for that whiskey. 
But as more investors enter the market, scouting out his next bottle of investment whiskey is only going to get harder for Billy. Well, it's harder and harder to find value. I think uh, maybe five, six years ago, uh, if I had the foresight, I would have bought more whiskey for investment. Uh, but right now, uh, as an asset class, it's all time high. I mean, it's still going to go up. As with all investments, along with the rewards, there are risks. Still, if things go sour, there is always the option to liquidate your investment.